Hi there. We're continuing our progress through the Psalms, the Tehillim, and we're continuing our look at Psalm 31. And today we're reading from verses 9 to 18. And in the middle of the psalm, the psalmist really pours out, the singer pours out his grief to the Lord. He's saying, Lord, I'm in distress. I'm in trouble. I have tears in my eyes. My body and soul are withering away. He's saying, everyone, no one will come near me. Even my friends stay away from me. I'm in such distress and trouble. No one wants to know me. He says, I'm ignored like I would dead. I'm like a potsherd. Uh, I'm broken up inside. I've heard things around me. Enemies conspire against me. But then in verse 14, he says, but I have put my trust in you, Lord. I'm trusting you. I'm saying you are my God. You're the one who matters. My future, my days, my times are in your hands. And he's putting himself into the hands of God, even though all around him are turning away from him. And he says, rescue me from those who want to hurt me and destroy me. And then he says something, verse 16, let your favour shine on your servant. You know this word shining, the, the face of God shining upon his people is there in the ironic blessing back in uh, Exodus and this is, uh, this is something that he desires. He desires to see the light of God's face in the midst of his darkness. He says, don't let me disgrace, be disgraced, Lord. Don't let my enemies triumph. Don't let them um, have the opportunity to say that you don't care about me. And he says, just let them be quiet. Make them quiet because I'm trusting in you. In those times when we face difficulty when we face it when we feel like everyone is turning against us or when we feel like we've been left behind when we feel that sense of grief God is with us we say I've trusted you God you are my God don't let me be ashamed whatever situation we're in today where we need to know that let's put our trust let's put our confidence in God because he is dependable have a good day